Thank you for joining me today for Just a Thought. We're continuing our study this week on the fear of the Lord. Today we'll see that those who fear the Lord shall be filled. Now, over in Psalm 34, beginning in verse 9, Psalm, Psalm 34 and verse 9, O fear the Lord, you he, his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Again, we see in verse 9, O fear the Lord, you his saints. Again, that goes against our uh, religious contemporaries. And many of the uh, teachers today of some religion are preaching so much God's love, God's love, God's love, they've cast out the fear of God that we should have. Fear the Lord, you who's his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. So the lion lacks and suffers hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Well, we put God first. When we put God first, then we don't have any want. Uh, Paul spoke of finding himself in a time of want and also in a time of plenty. But whatever state he found himself, he was going to be thankful to the Lord. Where is our heart? What is our heart set upon? Is it set upon the desires of the flesh? Well, it shouldn't be. But I'd like to take a little bit different focus and turning over to Matthew chapter 6 and turning turn to a, a passage that you're probably very familiar with. In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Well, what are those things? Well, if you back up, you'll find that in these passages, in this context, that he's talking about worry and how we can worry about our food and our clothing. It's interesting that shelter is not mentioned in this context, but that we would worry about food and clothing. And so we wring our hands. How are we going to take care of ourselves? And so he says, uh, kind of with the anticipation of this, therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink. This is in verse 25. Nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? We shouldn't worry about being taken care of by our Father. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubic to his stature? Of course, no one is a rhetorical question. So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If God takes care of the birds of the air and the flowers, are we not more important than they? Yet there are many Christians today who still wring their hands wondering how they're going to do this and how they're going to do that and, and putting a, a roof over their head, food in their bellies, and clothes on their back. The conclusion is seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Is that what you're doing? Are you seeking righteousness? Jesus wasn't concerned about eating. His bread was to do the will of the Father. And sometimes we just get too caught up in this world, too caught up in this life, in the possession of things. Earlier in this chapter, we can't serve two masters. 
For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he'll be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. We have to provide for our families, of course. But our focus should be on the righteousness of God. And then not worry that God's not going to take care of us. Those who fear the Lord will be taken care of. He will not leave us destitute. Let's put our faith in God. Let's not be like the Israelites who were taken out to the wilderness. They, they, they were uh, delivered in a practically, well, in a miraculous way, going through the Red Sea on dry ground and so on. And then they get to the other side of deliverance and shake their fist at God because they're thirsty. Because they're hungry. Instead of just asking. And seeking. After God. May the Lord bless you. But the caveat is. Based upon. You and I. Seeking. Righteousness. Seeking. His. Provision. And you know that. The things of this earth will be taken care of. What's more important is our spiritual nourishment in the Lord. God bless you.